What's going on, everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We got to go over Shiba Inu here today. We got a lot of stuff forming here in Shiba Inu in the technicals and in the fundamentals. So we're going to go over both of those today. But yeah, remember, hit that like button, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want to go over next. I got sticky notes on top of sticky notes on top of sticky notes full of things I'm going to do. And things are just piling up. I'm definitely going to get straight to them. But anyways, also, check out the links in the description. You know, if you want these check these technical indicators, this is Vital Algo. Definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description. 25% off discount code with Marcellus if you use that. So definitely do that, and it'll tell you, you know, when there's uptrends, downtrends, when the market's being controlled by bulls or bears. I guess you can see market control for Shiba Inu right now is 60% bullish. But anyways, we're going to go over a lot of the stuff today, so I'm going to go over all that. And if you want to donate to the channel definitely hit the paypal link in the description it'll really help me out a lot because i am trying to set up a whole streaming studio here so i can start live streaming here because it would be better for me to give you these trading signals live live you know but anyways also check out the cash app and you can definitely donate through cash app in the link in the description i'm also going to be doing patreon soon and i'm going to be putting trading signals on there as well so definitely watch out for a lot of new stuff inside the near future here now Let's go right over Shiba Inu. Before we go over these technicals, though, I want to show you some things that's actually formulating inside Sheep fundamentally, right? So first things first, look over here. This post was actually made by the official Sheep Army yesterday. So they said we've reached 720,000 holders, right? 720,000 holders. And remember how I showed you over here, bulls are in control of Sheep by 60%, right? And then if you look at the 15-minute chart, then let's let this load up. It'll probably load up three, five, two here. And then bulls are in control for the 15 minute chart by 80%, right? So let's go back over here to the one minute. So the reason why I'm mentioning this, because look, 720,000 holders. But then when you look at the current holders, 699,000, people are selling out of sheep. And this is what I was saying. These are temporary holders. These are people that come in and profit off of sheep. Like I'm telling you, a lot of whales came in just to profit off of the sheep army. And they made money. They did exactly what they wanted to do. They came in. Got sheep, got out, and they made money off of it. So look, yesterday, we had 721,359 holders. Today, we have 699,145 holders. When we hit that refresh button, we have 699,241. So we're starting to gain some of the people back. But a lot of people that come in the sheep off of these huge rallies like this, they're just temporary people. And they come in and they do this just to make money off of the sheep army, pretty much. So that's what we're seeing here, pretty much, with sheep. We are seeing a lot of different stuff, you know, forming here inside Sheep. I'm just continuing to watch out and watch over everything that happens. I definitely want to see Sheep win, and I want to see only the people that deserve to be in Sheep inside of Sheep. You know, because we have whales like this that come in huge, and they don't they don't sell out at all, right? And this is actually the money that, that was from the uh, Crypto COVID Relief Fund. Like, that's the money they sent it to, to that wallet. And over here, you can see, you know, a lot of whales come in. They come in just to profit off of sheep. Like, look at all these sell orders. Like, this whale, I mean, these whales are manipulating sheep. I'm not going to lie. These whales are definitely manipulating sheep. But let's go over some of the stuff that we have going on here in sheep. So over here, we are now connected with now payments on sheep. So this is actually pretty big here. So we're now partners with them. So this is pretty big. Burn sheep when you pay with sheep. So if you pay with sheep on Shopify, WooCommerce, all that good stuff, then boom, now you're burning sheep and you can do it through non payments. Now, I definitely want to um, mention something. I do want to make a Shopify, you know, store, but I don't know what to put on it. I mean, I could put like shirts and stuff on it, but you know, a lot of different people are getting, you know, hit with trademarks and copyrights for using Dogecoin merch and selling Dogecoin merch and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'm going to really do that. I'll probably make my own type of stuff. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with there yet. But anyways, they said, we are so proud to announce that we will be establishing a partnership with Now Payments. Now Payments will now be on board of the Sheep Trifecta with Sheep, Leash, and Bones. So they're accepting all three. And then starting with Sheep, burning a percentage on each transaction. This is big news here. Now Payments has really been you know, doing some big stuff inside the crypto space. So shout out to them for making this possible. I mean, this is huge. So anyways, let's do some more stuff. This person over here says, a manual burn would be much more effective than utilizing this site that nobody has heard of. A lot of people have actually heard of now payments. A lot of people use it. Someone said, dear Leafer, never heard of Shopify. One million brands use Shopify. Just because you never use the inter internet doesn't mean others don't. Oh, and we have in-store payment option solutions. But hey, if you want to mainly burn your tokens, 
so go right ahead, bro. And that's pretty much what Satoshi Kusama said himself to this person that was hating on sheep. So that's actually pretty big right there. Like Satoshi Kusama came here himself and called out this person on that. And yeah, now payments is actually a pretty big platform. So I don't know how people haven't heard of now payments. I don't know how people haven't heard of uh, Spotify or Shopify. But anyways, you know, a lot of people are hating on Saitoshi for his uh, comment here. This person saying, don't be so toxic and salty. He just gave his advice, you know, blah, blah, blah. A bunch of stuff going on there. But yeah, I just wanted to go over that little beef that they were having inside the little comment section. But it was funny that Saitoshi himself came out and said that. But anyways, as you can see here, Sheep is doing good inside every single time period. In the last 24 hours, we're up 4.5%. We did drop 15% because, you know, people sold out Sheep like I showed you. And then we're up 269% inside the last seven days. So that's pretty big right there. I mean, Shiba Inu is doing fairly well. The bulls are definitely taking over here inside Shiba. And yeah, we're about to get to a new all-time high if we can keep pumping. Remember what happened last time when we started to pump up here to this previous all-time high? We got stopped right right around here, you know, like 00001569. And the new area that we are getting stopped at is 2845. We did get up to the three area yesterday. So or the other day. So we definitely have the potential here with Sheep to break out and have a huge breakout and possibly a new all-time high. We just got to go through this little retracement period, like I said in my previous video. This is definitely a retracement period. So anyways, I want to show this. We are inside of a downtrend here, a slight downtrend. So this red and green area, these are supply and demand areas. When we're at this red area, it's showing that there's not enough demand, too much supply. When we're in the green areas, it's showing that there's more demand and not enough supply. So what it is is really going back and forth ping ponging here with Shiba Inu. Now that's why you see that we're about to go in an uptrend here because we are now inside of an area where we need where we have more demand and not enough supply needed. As you can see, Shiba was a little bit oversold, and this is the one minute chart, so we're looking at it from a very short perspective here. So as you can see here, the second we hit this um, supply demand area, we actually went on a strong uptrend because there was not enough demand. Or, I mean, there was not enough supply, but there was huge demand, so it sent us on a huge uptrend. But yeah, we're seeing a lot of big stuff happening in the sheep. Looking at it from the 15M chart, I really like looking at it at the 15-minute chart more. So when you look at it from this chart, you can see it from a better perspective here. Like a short little uptrend is coming, but it could be short-lived because we're about to hit this supply and demand area. It just depends if people keep selling out of sheep because there's a lot of people that keep selling out of sheep. So I definitely want to see people stop selling out because this is what is really bringing us down here in sheep. But anyways, we're going to do more of a technical analysis here and go over other people's perspectives from it. So anyways, Elliott Wave analysis. Shiba Inu lost 40% after completing fifth wave. So it has lost some money. And I was showing you all the people that sold out. We had about, we had a lot of people sell out yesterday. We had about 21,000 people sell out. So that was a lot of people that sold out all in one day. That was actually a pretty big sellout. Now over here, you can see that we have a lot of stuff formulating. Cryptos have been ha have seen a nice bounce this week which has been technically expected they say we not weak but anyways which has been technically expected as drop through sub september unfolded as a correction we see some nice intraday bullish structure but even some strong intraday trends may face some pullbacks so anyways the reason for a recent rally on cryptos can be coming from the sec who approved vault equity etf providing exposure to bitcoin centric companies and also jp morgan's comments who said that investors renewed interest in the usage of bitcoin as an inflation hedge anyways you know everything is really volatile here volatile here so she be new per example lost 40 percent as they're saying here and yes she be new definitely lost a lot but the reason why Shiba Inu lost is not because of the SEC and all that other stuff. It lost because the Royals are manipulating. Let's be honest. Like, they kind of pumped it, and then they started to dump it a little bit. But I said in my previous video, a retracement period was bound to happen. And I said it right before it happened. You know, I said it at that 3.5 area. And then I was like, look, we're going to retrace back down to 2,800. And we retraced down to 2,800 and eventually lower than 2,800. So... A lot of stuff is going to be forming here in sheep. We just got to be aware of it, and we got to you know make sure we hedge our positions, as they say. But anyways, look at what's going on here. We are forming a little bit of an uptrend here, and now we're hitting the supply and demand area. So we may or may not break out of it. But yeah, it's definitely showing that we have red candlesticks, meaning that even though we are on an uptrend, there's still a lot of overselling going on here. If you look at this oscillator, you see that there's a lot of overselling. And previously, we were overbought. like A lot of people bought in. And then whenever you're overbought, you're usually attacked by an oversell. So now we're getting that oversell coming in. 
even though it is showing that it's going up, there's still a lot of people selling it. So that's what we're seeing here in sheep. So we definitely have some potential here. Bulls are still in control by 60%. So you got to remember that. So let's do some technical analysis. So Shiba Inu would need to move through the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement, 23.87, and the 26.40 pivot, which we already broke. So that since we already broke that, we're actually heading towards our first major resistance at 32 cents. Not 32 cents. 32, you know, 0, 0, 0, 0, 32. So yeah, we're heading towards that. But before we do that, we have to break out of 2831, which is the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement. So right now we're at 2721. So we could actually pass this. We just got to end up, you know, getting past 2831. So we could eventually break 32 and then eventually the 3558 area and so on. And then we have another resistance at 50 and 412. We don't need to worry about any of that because as you know, we have a lot of other stuff to break. So right here is a pretty big statement. Failure to move through the 38.2% Fibonacci level of 00002387 and the 264 pivot would bring the first major support level of 1730. Now we already broke out of both of these pivot levels. Now 1730 will be hit if we go below 2387 pretty much that's what they're saying if we go back below 2387 we will see 1730 and then if we go below 1730 eventually we'll see the 1668 and then 1160 so that's pretty much what they're saying but our first major support level being 1730 which we don't have to worry about hitting because we're actually pretty bullish and right now the bulls are taking control by 60 percent so we don't have to really worry about that only thing that we really have to worry is the 26 40 pivot level because if we go below that we're going to head towards our support and we have to worry about breaking this 3210 resistance first we got to pass the 2831 fibonacci level which we're actually about to break we just got to keep getting some more buy orders in here but yeah remember i'm not a financial advisor none of this financial advice just kind of going over the technicals with sheep and what we got going on inside the sheep army so yeah remember if you like the video hit the like button subscribe it really helps the youtube channel out immensely for the youtube algorithm Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, check out the link in the description if you want these automated technical indicators. It's actually called Vital Algo, so definitely check it out. And you can use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off if you want. And if you want to help out the channel, go ahead and hit that PayPal donation button inside of the link in the description. It will really help me out a lot. I'm going to be doing live streams and stuff in the future. So definitely hit that PayPal or Cash App link in the description. And I'll be back with another video. Peace.